This video is sponsored by my brother, Two Clicks Philip, whose new Odd Grub video contains a surprise twist. You'll never guess who Odd Grub's brother turns out to be, so check it out to have your mind blown. The winner of the PGL Major got $1 million. Second place got 300,000. And in the grand finals, on the second map, the outcome was largely dictated by a single shot. And simple sitting. And then two more, which also missed. Let's recap. Na'Vi won the first map of the grand final. G2 looked like they were about to win the second. They were 15-10 up, and all they needed to do was to win a single round, and it would have gone on to a third decider map. But this didn't happen. Na'Vi successfully brought it back to 15-15, and then won in double overtime, winning the game. Spoiler alert. There are always going to be what-if moments, especially on the most viewed Counter-Strike match of all time, between two of the best and most loved teams and players in the world, and especially when there's a million dollars of prize money on the line. But it's safe to say that one moment in particular stood out. Bearing in mind that G2 only had to win just one of the five final rounds, they got extremely close to doing so on round 28. G2 were strapped for cash, buying just pistols and a bit of utility. They were going up against Na'Vi, who were fully cut out with weapons, armour and lots of utility, and who were on the CT side of Nuke. Yet despite all of this, G2 somehow managed to bring it back down to 3v2 in their favour, and they got the bomb planted. It was all looking hopeful. Simple killed one, bringing it down to a 2v2. Now all G2 had to do was to delay them until the bomb exploded. And it was all up to Hunter and Nico. Hunter had done brilliantly so far that round. He had killed two members of Na'Vi and got the bomb planted. Na'Vi didn't know specifically where Hunter was, but they could make an educated guess and wait for him to show himself. But they didn't have a clue where Nico was, who had successfully snuck all the way around behind them and up into heaven. And this is the moment that everybody remembers. And Simpol sitting no! No! Did not shot! Shot! An absolute dis All three shots missed Simple, who then killed Nico, with Navi quickly winning the round and defusing the bomb. What happened? While ignoring the Deagle's inaccuracy for a second, it looks like the first shot was a miss. A last second adjustment from Nico overshot the target, meaning he did miss ever so slightly. The second shot looked like a hit, then the third looked like it missed again because of the last minute crouch by Simple. But how much can we trust these recordings of the round? I got these video files from a slow motion recording of the 128 tick GoTV demo file. This records everything in the match 128 times a second, and I'd say it's one of the best playbacks we can hope for. However, I still don't think they're 100% accurate. For a start, they interpolate character model movements, and so there are minor variations every time you play it. For example, in this recording, Nico's body fell down the ladder, while in this one, it collapsed on the side. On this recording, the gun animations bugged out. And on another, it looked like the crosshair was right on simple when he fired that first shot. But if we watch the official stream, we can make out a last second mouse adjustment from Nico that moved the crosshair off to the side of Simple's head slightly. So I guess you could make arguments for whatever reality you'd like to live in, but by most metrics, that first shot did miss. But things are never this simple, because we also need to account for weapon inaccuracy. And the Deagle is notoriously unreliable for this. If you want to calculate all this mathematically, then be my guest. But I opted for the less precise, but far more entertaining option of recreating the doomed moment from Nico's perspective, but using the console command CL Weapon Debug Show Accuracy 2 to represent where each bullet could have gone. You can see, even when being patient and crouched, the amount the bullet can still deviate from the crosshair is quite big. So here is what happened compared with my recreation of it. As you can see, 100% the same, I did an excellent job, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Now let's overlay the circles in my clip onto the real deal. Remember, it's only the timings that matter. The distance to the target won't affect the size of these circles because bullets travel in a straight line. Now, from this distance, at the moment Nico fired after stopping and crouching, the first shot's accuracy is almost exactly the same size as Simple's head is. Which means that, had Nico fired just 1 20th of a second sooner, he would almost have guaranteed a hit. Isn't that sickening? But he didn't do that, so there. Enhance. This is the moment right before he did fire, so there was still a chance that this bullet would have hit. But it wasn't much. Much less than 50%, and I'd argue even less than 25 There are already a few assumptions leading up to this point, so I won't be more specific than that. But I do think the first shot should have missed. But let's look at the second shot, which I think is the most exciting of the three. Enhance. Sharpen. So the second shot was bang on Simple's character model, but unfortunately missed again. Now this one was unlucky, and I think Nico did the best he could have done to remedy his first miss with this one. There was definitely a chance that it could have hit Simple's head, killing him instantly at a range of just 850 units. 
but there was probably a bigger chance that the bullet would have just hit his upper body, which with 93 health and armour on, would still have taken three hits to kill. But as it turns out, neither of these things happened, and instead the bullet completely missed Simple, with a decal landing right behind his head, for added insult. And moving on to the third and final shot, that was a miss fair and square. But with Nico using the deagle, there was still a chance that it could have been a headshot. I noticed a tiny bit of movement between shots. Nico was still crouched and moving only very slowly, and from my testing this wouldn't have made a significant difference to the deagle's accuracy, other than to very marginally have reduced his chances further. In conclusion, of the three shots, all three could have killed, all three probably shouldn't have done, but I think Nico deserved to hit him at least once, and for a bit of damage. But given how the deagle is, were this repeated a hundred times, I believe that Simple would survive more often than not. Now onto the speculation of what would have happened next. What would have happened had one of those bullets been a headshot, and killed Simple? Well, it would have briefly become a 2v1, with Bit having to somehow survive and to defuse against all of the odds. Had G2 known this was going to happen, Nico and Hunter could then have easily worked together to distract him for long enough for them to win the round, and game, pushing the match onto the third and final map. But maybe this wouldn't have happened. Even while Nico was still missing all of his shots, Hunter was already pushing the site, whereupon he dueled Bit and lost. And given the timing, this might still have happened even if Simple had been killed, which would have made it a 1v1 situation. Nico still armed with just a deagle and up in heaven, against Bit, on the site, attempting a defuse. What a tense situation that would have been. And it's at this point I'll hand the speculation over to you. What do you think would have happened then?